<sighs> hey there, everyone. Uh, it's me, Ira, and I am heading back home after a very long foraging trip. Uh, I've been doing a lot of searching for things, looking for uh, ruins, and also hunting foxes, and in the hopes that- Yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. I was desperately hoping that we would have some grass when I got back, and we do! So, oh, where am I gonna build my fire? Well, I've got an extra couple of pieces of grass here, so I can afford to put the fire pretty much wherever and then move it later if I want to. Let's, let's maybe just, just out here somewhere. There we go. I uh, don't have any firewood. Um, as I am setting this up... Ooh, actually, give me, give me some more. <laughs> uh, as I am setting this up, some announcements. Um, I... Let me, let me get the meat on there before I... Okay, there we go. Uh, so, first of all, um, a lot has happened since the last episode. Uh, I realized that it wasn't just... It wasn't a very interesting video. Uh, just kind of running around hunting foxes and stuff. So I did a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. And I have to apologize to all of you because um, I... Look, what happened was... Um, <laughs> How do I, how do I put this? Oh, okay, just spit it out, I just spit it out. Guys, I died. I died, I starved to death one time. Just once, just one time, but I did starve to death. Um, I had thought, I had intended to, if, if my hunger was getting low enough that, oh, that's good, that I, um, that I was likely to starve, I was gonna start recording so that you, we could at least experience it together and, and mourn, <laughs> and mourn together. Um, but I just, I, I lost track of that. I wasn't paying enough attention, and then the next thing I knew, I was dead. So I'm really, really sorry. Uh, what happens when you die, you respawn at spawn. Um, with half the hunger bar filled. And that is where I left off, and then I went out and I hunted some more, I got some more fat, and I did not die again, so, you know. Just full disclosure, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna pretend that I managed this run perfectly because I didn't this time. Unfortunately, it just took too long for the grass to grow. Next time around, if I do this again, I will uh, definitely make that grass a priority. First dirt that I get, just immediately throw it down and hoe it. Um, and you do need to hoe it, by the way. Uh, in my other game world, I put down a whole bunch of dirt to see if grass would grow on it without hoeing it, and nothing has grown after like an in-game week. So definitely you need to hoe to get that grass. Uh, so there's that. There's my apology. Apologies to all of you for dying off camera. I don't- I'm not gonna die again though. I've got a fire now. I've got a source of wood. I've got a source of meat. I'm gonna be fine now. I'm not gonna starve again. Now it's gonna be a question of can I progress? Can I find the clay? And things like that that I need. Um, oh, so good to have meat. To be able to cook this meat. I have so much. Look at how much. I'm gonna wait till I get up to full here. So, while, while I'm letting this meat cook and getting myself to full, some other announcements. First of all, a little, little technical note, I have moved the position of my microphone. I did this for a stream the other day, and uh, it actually seemed to work okay. It's a more comfortable position for me to use, but it is to the side now instead of directly in front of me. So, um, let me know if, it, if there's any issues with the sound, if like it sounds weird or, or anything like that, let me know. I can put the microphone back where it was, but then it's, it's less convenient to hit the keyboard and stuff. So, okay, let me know, let me know how it sounds, if there's any noticeable difference. Because if not, then I'll just leave it how it is, because it's easier for me to play with. Uh, also, I had intended to pre-record a lot of episodes, but what happened, you see, friends, is that Cook Serve Delicious 3 came out. I got a press key in advance. And all of my recording and editing time went to that. So, um, I hadn't had the, t the chance, aside from the kind of background just running around trying to find my stuff. Uh, I haven't had really the time to play and record, so I actually have read your comments in the previous video. And, uh, we're all caught up. Now, for the next video, I do intend to pre-record again now. Uh, I don't have any other big name games coming out that I need to focus on. So I will probably, the next few episodes, will be recorded before this one comes out. So be aware of that, um, you know, when you're leaving your comments and things. I'm gonna just go ahead and, you know, I'm just gonna put all this right here. We, we have plenty of firewood. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, other announcements. I have modified the game, my friends. I have modified the game some more. I, have, I already modified it a little bit. There we go. Uh, I have modified it some more. Uh, oh no! Oh, you little... Ah! Oh! You interrupted my... No, 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 you go, you go away, you leave the rabbit alone. Do I have, I don't have a spear. There. I'm putting my, I'm putting my, uh, 
my crops at risk here. I need to get a spear so I can... I'm sorry, rabbit. I'm sorry, but I want to make sure I get the meat off of you. I gotta, I gotta kill these dang foxes. This is the problem with this area. There's not only hares, but there's also foxes. All right, I will go down and butcher those soon. I'm not gonna need the meat for a while, though. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that there's, there's not much change that's been done. Basically, the only change is that I put down some dirt here, and I started, I planted all the seeds I had except for the pumpkins, as you saw in my inventory. I get tons of pumpkins. I gotta figure out what to do with those, because they need a lot of space. On, on, uh, uh, ideally, that's the word I was looking for. Ideally, I would like to plant them um, somewhere with a fence around them, but I need metal before I can put fences up and stuff like that. So I gotta think about that. Um, in any case, in any case, uh, where was I? Yes, modifications. I made some more modifications to the game. I have a list in front of me so I don't forget what I'm saying. <laughs> Things I have modified. First up, this is maybe my favorite. I asked for some help. The developer helped me. Developers are nice. Check this out, friends. Check this out. My shovel. I can now dig up snow at a good rate. So snow is no longer a slow thing that I have to dig out by hand. I haven't touched the ice because honestly, I can dig up the ice fast enough by hand. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Uh, that's the first modification. Second modification. Uh, I added a recipe to the game so that I can make cobblestone with mortar instead of just clay. The, by default in vanilla, you can only make cobblestone with clay. Clay is going to be a very precious resource in this run here. So, um, no, no, uh, no clay going to be used for cobblestone. I, I, I don't need cobblestone. I'm going to be able to find plenty of granite cobblestone from ruins. So it's not like I need cobblestone for survival or something, but just for aesthetics. I might want to take some different colored stones and, uh, and make some nice... Sorry. I'm angry. I'm angry at that fox. I'm sure you can all understand. Uh, I may want to make some different colors of cobblestone. So I modded in a, a recipe where I can use mortar for that, because mortar might actually be easier to make. I still have to find lime or clay, limestone or clay, uh, but I think I can do that. So, uh, yeah, that's just a, another option for building. And then finally, and this one, this one, no, not finally, not finally, hold on, uh, no. Before the finally one, I have also modified the game so that I can use, uh, so that I can purchase oak logs from building materials NPC vendors, NPC traders. Uh, the building materials ones will now sometimes have oak logs for sale. They come in stacks of 16 for six gears, so they're not cheap. Uh, but once you get a stack, that'll be enough to make a bit of leather. So I did do some research, I looked it up, and while pretty much all plants have tannin in them, um, the trees that are available in these frozen worlds, which is pine and birch, which is not growing it, there's some birch saplings around, do not have enough tannin in them to really be usable for tanning. So tannin, tanning, tannin, tanning, tannin, tanning. <laughs> we have fun. Um, can I get you from here if I sit? No, okay. I gotta make a spear. Um, do I have a spear? I do not. I am slip, slip, sliding on this ice. Okay, I'm gonna make a spear. That's easy enough to do so I can get rid of this dang jerk over here. Um, and yes, the, the final one. To show you the final one, I do have to jump into creative mode for a bit. Don't worry, I'm not cheating or anything. This is just so that I can show you something in the creative inventory that I don't have another way to show you. So if I go in here... Look what I did, you guys. Look what I did. I made bauxite cobble and bauxite bricks. And I'm extremely proud of myself. I did mess up the texture on this ever so slightly. There's like a little strip here. I'll put, I'll put some down and then I'll, I'll get rid of it. Uh, there's a little strip of gray at the end that I missed when I was making this. So I have to go in and fix that. Um, but the, the bauxite brick looks good. I'm very proud of this. It was, not, it was not as easy as I thought it would be to make the textures in a way that was satisfying. Um, and then I had some... There we go. Um, I had some trouble getting it to work. Uh, so I asked the developers, what am I doing wrong? And I apparently had to add a line of code to one of the files that I never would have figured out on my own. And now we've got Bauxite. Uh, so once I get it fixed up, I will try to find a way to make that available to people. If you are interested in 
the bauxite cobble and the bauxite brick, please leave a comment to remind me on this video. And then hopefully I'll be able to get, get it figured out how to, how to share that. Because I have actually made quite a few modifications to the game. So I would have to figure out how to just share that one. I'm looking for sticks now. I need a stick. Get this dang fox. I'm gonna I'm gonna poke it with a stick until it's dead. Like like we do. And there we go. Hey fox. Fox, I'm gonna kill you. You're not gonna be able to bite me. There's gonna be nothing you can do about it. Ha ha. Okay, you are you could run away and make it difficult for me to hit you. Which is rude. That's just rude is what that is. Stop it. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Float on up. I'll butcher you. So mad. So mad at this fox. <laughs> oh, man. But it, it is such a relief, folks. It is such a relief. Let that one cook up and then we'll add these two. I'm probably never going to be able to eat all this meat before it goes bad anyway, but... Hey. I, 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 got, I got food now. It is such a relief. Such a relief. Okay. So, now that we've got food sorted out, I'm going to... I'm just gonna put this soil up here with the rest for now. Again, I'm gonna continue moving this ice out of the way. Because it's slippy slidey and I don't like that. And I'll tell you what, uh, since we have enough grass now to meet our needs, I will leave these untilled so that you can all see what ends up happening to those. Alright, I think I found an extra shovel <laughs> somewhere. Whoop, there we go. Um, I got an extra axe as well. I would need more sticks to make more racks to hang that up. Um, I guess I can probably do that. Get six more sticks. Six sticks. We're doing tongue twisters today, apparently. Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, so... Next priority... Is... I've run out of notes now, folks. You're gonna have to rely on me remembering what I'm saying. This is gonna be difficult for all of us. Did I get them all? <laughs> How many is that? Four. Two more. Yeah, this this will be a good one right here. Um, I now need to get other materials, right? So, in order to do metal, I'm gonna need clay. Clay is gonna be a big one. Um, and. In order to store stuff, now obviously, once I make metal, storage will be easy. Because... There we go. Okay. That's all I can hang up. Um, don't really need the gravel. We'll, we'll just put all this up there, use it as, as needed. Um, okay, once I have the clay to smelt the metal, then I can make... Uh, 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 saw. That's what it's called. A saw. And then I can basically make whatever I want. Uh, we'll be all set once I have a saw. I can make uh, as many chests as I want. Now somebody pointed out in a comment that I can use the containers at the NPC traders to store my stuff, but to me that would be kind of cheating. That, that feels too cheating to me, so I'm not going to do it. Appreciate the suggestion, um, but I'm not going to do it that way because it's, it's, it's too easy and it's cheaty. Um, it's, it's kind of not in line with what I'm the challenge that I've tried to set myself here, which is to kind of make my progress without the usual methods available. And I think if I leave these corpses here, yep, uh, that they will stay there and they'll be okay. I don't think they'll disappear. I hope not. I have more food than I can really eat already. I say that. I'll probably run out of food. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to take that amount of food. That's fine for now. I'm gonna head east because I did find a whole bunch of uh, ruins a ways to the east and I wanted to, I, I didn't break them all because I was specifically just looking for grass so I kinda, I, I kinda went past anything that wasn't a uh, forage vessel. Of course forage vessels are still what we're gonna need. Uh, we can also break farming vessels. So essentially right now, Hey, bunnies. You're not bunnies. I know you're not, but it's, you, you feel like bunnies, you know? It's easier to say bunnies. Um, yeah, what I'm after, as I, as I said, clay. Now, the first clay will probably to make, be to make uh, cooking equipment. So, a clay pot for cooking and a clay bowl for eating. 
plants, because that will let me get a lot more nutrition out of the food that I find. Um, and then the other thing that I really would like to find is some linen sacks, which I can find occasionally in farming vessels would be great. Um, I did that, didn't I? <laughs> I can see my ice structure here from hunting. Um, linen sacks, and then I can get rid of these baskets. And, um, run right there. Also, I would like to find reeds. If I can find enough reeds, I don't have enough now. If I can find enough cattails, uh, I can make storage that I can put in the world. Little storage baskets. And that will be a lifesaver, because one of the amazing things about this frozen world is that food lasts for ages, folks. It does, it lasts for ages. I think I already looted this one. Um... Food stored in a cold climate will last a really, really long time. Because it's basically a freezer. We live in a freezer. We're living in a freezer. My toes are frozen. I don't want to talk about it. It's very uncomfortable. Um, but if you place food in the world, it will it will decay at 0.1% or something like that. It, it, it'll be really, really slow, so it'll last much longer than if you're keeping it in your pockets, essentially. So even the meat that I left in the campfire there will last a really long time relative to the meat that I'm holding in my hands right now. So if I can make baskets to store stuff in, that's going to help a lot. That's going to be a big one. And um, what else, what else, what else? Some copper there. Um, yeah, just being able to store more items, obviously, is going to help a lot. So, what we got here? Have I already have I already looted this? I don't remember if I found a loot vessel here or not and then broke it. And I can't mark things on the map. Just a reminder, or if you're if you're uh, new to this series, I have set myself in addition to the challenge of just straight up surviving, right? I'll find some dirt at least. Um, I'm not allowed to use the map. That's a challenge I set for myself. The reason or not using the map is because it makes it more challenging to find things like ruins and ores and stuff. When you open the map, everything around you is very obvious. It's like right there. It's very easy to see. And I want to make it more challenging. Another thing, another note, because some people seem really uncomfortable with the idea of me not using the map, like, but it'll be too hard. Well, yes, that that is kind of the point is that it will be hard. Uh, but also keep in mind, when this game was first released, or when I first started playing it, there was no map. The map is a relatively new addition. I don't think there's going to be any vessels in here. I probably already got them. And I don't think there's going to be a basement. Uh, fun fact about the basements. I, in my other Frozen world, I have spent, I don't know, a dozen hours in it, and I've explored at least a few thousand blocks in every direction and looted every ruin I could find, and I am using the map in that one, so I'm not missing a single ruin. Um, I have not found a single basement. Not a one structure has had a basement, and I have checked, believe me, I have checked, I have even occasionally, because I couldn't believe that I still wasn't finding a single one, I even jumped into creative mode every once in a while and just uh, turned no clip on and just peeked below the surface just to make sure. No basements. Absolutely not. I don't know if the basement frequency has been reduced, or if I've just had terrible luck, or what. But no basements. So I've clearly already looted this one, and I just wasted a whole bunch of time and energy. Another thing I'm going to need to do, now that I've got a food source secure, I'm going to want to make, like, an actual base structure. Um, that boxes. We got some dirt here. Let's take this dirt. Take that dirt. Uh, because before too long, there's gonna be monsters coming out, and I'm gonna want a safe place to hide at night, because even though I have set all enemies to be very weak, and I have given myself the maximum number of hit points, I am still quite the scaredy baby. And I like to be able to hide from the monsters. Oh man, walking on the ice is, is such a nightmare, folks. Such a nightmare. <laughs> It just completely messes with all of your navigation. Okay. Like, it's slow to start moving, and then you can't stop moving. Alright, so clearly I've already looted this one as well. I think it was around here somewhere that I died. I do have the keep inventory turned on. Um, because 
I want the challenge to be finding enough food to survive. I don't want the challenge to be having to go back and get all my stuff before it despawns. That's that's just kind of, in my mind, it's just kind of a hassle. It doesn't add anything to the game to me, so... So I'm not gonna do it. Oh, man. Have I already been going for, like, 20 minutes? That is insane. It is insane to me how quickly the time goes by. I mean, basically, I feel like all I've done is update you all on what I already did. Since the last one. And now it's almost time to finish. Is that... It can be hard to tell if something's cobblestone or just bushes from a distance. That's definitely cobblestone. Sweet! What we got? I haven't been here. I see a hair over there. What do we got? What do we got? Pretty sure I have not been here. I wonder if this one has a basement. Every time I find a ruin, I'm always like, could it have a basement, though? But could it have a basement, though? And I'm not sure. So let's dig. And let's find out. Hopefully we'll at least find a loot vessel. Ideally, a forage vessel or a farming vessel. Because basically, those are the only vessels that are of any use to me at this point. If I find ore vessels, I just gotta leave them. Here we go. Forage! Okay. Everyone, everyone, whatever gods you may or may not believe in, pray. Pray. Pray for something good. Well, you didn't pray hard enough, my friends. <laughs> blame, I blame this squarely on you. We got some stones, a couple of poultices, and some bamboo stays. I'm just going to throw away the bamboo. I have no use for that. I'll hold on to the stone for now, but I'm quite unlikely to need that either. Shucks. And... Again, we'll dig it. We'll dig it out. We'll dig it all the way out. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be a basement, but I have not had the luck with the basements. No idea what's what's the deal. Also, if there's a basement that requires me to dig through stone, I obviously can't do that because I don't have a pick yet. So we'll keep that in mind as well. See, I see stairs going down. What is that going down to? Bas no, it's not going down no basement. See, we just think it just ends right here. Where have all the basements gone? I ask you. I love get. I love finding basements. It's so exciting. And I, I swear I used to find them pretty often. I used to find them fairly frequently. Does this go all the way over here, or is this another? I think this is another ruin. This. Completely buried. I don't see it there. And ending at stone here. Is this all part of that same ruin? This feels like one that should have a basement, and yet, and yet. I'll be so happy if we find one, you guys. Oh man, I should probably cut through all of this digging stuff, but it's fun to share. It's like the, the joy of exploration, you know? I love finding stuff. Man, this is quite a big ruin. Pretty good size, but I mean, you can see that it ends right there, right? Like, you can see the stone through the ice. So, we're not gonna find that. Um, I feel like there's at least gotta be another loot vessel, though, right? And this, this does feel like another ruin next to the other one. Or together they make one real, real, real big ruin. In which case, maybe there wouldn't be another vessel, but I can hope. I can dream. And so, I will. I'm doing that right now. Try and stop me. Don't try too hard, because I'm afraid you might succeed. And then it would be sad for all of us. I hope you would feel bad then, presumably. No, I don't think there's another loot vessel. I think that's it. That's it. It's just another kind of little ruin area. It's nice. You can make a nice house here, but... Okay. Head up. That's that, I guess. Ah! I thought that was that, and then I fell back in. <laughs> Uh, regarding getting lost again, by the way, I, I mentioned this before, but I, I, I don't know how many people uh, saw or heard that. Uh, also, by the way, I've been leaving notes at the end of the videos with information uh, that I might have forgotten to say. I don't think there'll be one in this one, because, I, again, I did I did make notes. But I do have little, uh, little announcement things or little kind of credit sequences where I do something silly or sing a song or whatever at the end of... Every video, pretty much, that I make. Very few exceptions. So do stick around after the video's over. Check out the credits. Oh man, I think my voice is going again, folks. The dry air in the winter, it goes so fast. Alright, this is one of these towers, and I think it's got a food vessel at the top. If I am not mistaken. I do believe these have food vessels. 
Let's find out if my memory is good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna take it. I've got a food source right now. Um, I can't get back out, though. <laughs> I have a food source right now. And I have no way of storing the grain that I would get from this. Um, but yeah, as, as I mentioned in a previous video, in the little end credit sequence, I'm not gonna get lost. I haven't disabled the map in, uh, with the intention of making myself lost. Because I have left on, in the top right of the screen there, you can see I have left on the coordinates. So all I have to do is head towards zero, zero, zero. And uh, I will find my way back home. So no worries about that. It's just uh, a question of being able to find stuff. Which I want to be a challenge. So uh, I think we're probably coming up at the end of the video already, actually, to be honest. Um so fast. I feel like I haven't gotten much done, but at least I brought you all up to speed. You all know what I've been up to, what I have managed to successfully do, including the little modifications that I've made. I'll just try to look and see if I can see any ruins in those, but I never do. I never do. So uh, basically, I'm going to I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing. Keep searching the landscape for more ruins. Again, looking for reeds and clay, basically more than anything else at this point. And maybe some linen sacks, if I'm lucky. Uh, and whatever seeds I can find, of course. Now I can I can plant seeds. I keep picking up whatever dirt I find. So we can, we can slowly... We've got plenty of dirt back at the base. I can start planting more stuff as needed. Uh, yeah, but right now it's going to be just kind of a... You know, go back home, load up on food, hunt for a bit, load up on food, and then pick a direction and go out and explore and search, basically. Um, but yeah, I, I am enjoying this a great deal. I have also been playing on my other save in between quite a lot, actually. Just kind of working out strategies and trying new things. I've built myself a little igloo base, which is kind of fun. Maybe I'll do the same thing in this one. Um, and in the other one, I've, I've already got metal. I've already got uh, bronze tools and my current mission. I've, I'm already making leather with the uh, traded for oak logs. And my current mission is uh, to trade up and get enough gears and get enough fire bricks, which you can get, I think, from commodities. These are commodities or really materials, probably commodities. Um, and fire clay. I have also added a uh, modded in that you can purchase blue clay. You get a full stack for, I think, six gears and fire clay. I think you only get half stack or something because that's more valuable. I'm having a great time. I love this kind of... Oh, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Still, still this game and its beauty. I'm telling you, folks. Um... And I lost track of what I was saying. I don't think it was very important. <laughs> I think I'm just babbling at this point. I should probably go. I'll keep exploring. Uh, I will try to make a... a... Oh my gosh. I will try to make a, a, a point of being more diligent about recording when I find something cool or when something interesting happens. Like this, for example. Oh, that's my thumbnail for sure, though. That's my thumbnail for sure. Or maybe it won't be. Maybe the grass will be my thumbnail. It's the most important thing. Or maybe I'll make the grass a surprise. We'll see. You already know. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You already know. It's in my future and your past. We have this very strange temporal disconnect between us. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be off, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Hey everybody, it's me, Ira. I'm at the end of the video again. Um, I was doing some more thinking about the whole... the map thing. And, uh, there's a video by Rasbutin, a YouTuber, who, uh, who does some interesting videos about games and stuff. And, uh, he has a video about why minimaps are stupid. <laughs> and I was thinking about that video while I was editing this video, and about how, um... Having a map on the screen all the time changes your perception of the game world in general, and sort of you, you focus on the destination, the waypoint, whatever it is you're you're trying to get to, rather than enjoying the beauty of the landscape around you. Um, and I kind of feel that way when I'm playing Vintage Story. If I have waypoints, like in my other save, I am using waypoints, and I am, 
you know, marking where I find stuff and using it, the map to find ruins and things. And what it does is it gives you a point and you're like, okay, the point is that way. And you just try to move as much as possible in a straight line that way. And it, you miss a lot, you know? Whereas the way I'm playing this save, I'm really looking around at my, uh, my environment. I'm like, okay, there's a hill over there. If I go on top of that hill, I'm going to be able to see more down around me. And it just kind of generally, uh, it feels more immersive and it feels more natural and I like it. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying playing it this way without any map. Um, yeah. And again, keep in mind the game didn't originally have a map. Uh, and just like Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft doesn't have a map either. You can make maps out of books, but it's not the same as like modded Minecraft usually has maps with waypoints and things. I feel like a lot of us have got real used to always having a map available. And I think there's something to be said for not having a map available and having to really pay attention to where you are and what the landscape looks like and where the landmarks are and kind of orient yourself that way. I should probably also mention, I also don't use GPS in anything. Uh, if I'm walking somewhere, I don't drive, but uh, if I'm walking somewhere or traveling somewhere, I will look up a map before, and I will figure out the route. If I think I'm likely to get confused, I'll write down a list of directions, landmarks to look out for, but I never, I see a lot of people going somewhere for the first time and they'll have like a phone or something. I don't even have a smartphone, but even if I did, <laughs> people see people with like a phone and they're just looking down and following the line, or people are driving a car and there's just something telling them where to go. And I know that that's normal now. I don't mean to criticize people who travel that way, but I've never liked that for myself. Uh, I like knowing where I am and enjoying getting to where I'm going and kind of learning what the landscape in the area is like rather than just following directions and following a line like you do in a video game. So it applies to real life for me as well. I like doing it this way. If you've never tried it this way, give it a shot. You might find, uh, at first you're gonna be scared and confused, like, oh, how am I supposed to find anything? How am I supposed to remember where I am? Just give yourself some time and you'll, you'll get the hang of it. And it's actually, I feel like it's a useful skill to have to be able to navigate on your own. And it's also, it's a, just a different way of kind of enjoying the landscape and stuff. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about maps. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty outro. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye, friends.